Motor is to make a V-belt pulley to drive a power steering pump for a race car. This is the pump pulley and I will need to match the groove. It will need to press into the tooth gear that drives the water pump. I drew this sketch to get an idea of what I had to make. The tooth pulley has a taper machined into it where the arrow is, so first I will have to machine that parallel. I'll have to bore my pulley to clear this area of the pump and the pump flange. I had the material and I'm ready to go, but first I had to design the pulley on CAD to establish the clearances. With the pulley design realised, it's time to start. First I'll clock up the water pump pulley and bore out that taper. Then I need to shorten it by 4mm. I've completed that modification, so on to the V-belt pulley. Facing off the end of the billet, and because it's just held in a 3 jaw chuck and I don't want it to come out, I'm taking very light cuts. By machining a recess in this end, I can use the internal chuck jaws to hold the part, enabling an unobstructed cutting surface. After turning the billet around, clocking it and supporting it on a live centre, it's ready to machine to size. I've machined it to the OD of the pulley, so now the challenging part of machining the V. Using a template that I printed out, I glued it to a piece of tool steel and ground it to the angle of the V. I'm not sure how this will perform, but being a capstan lathe, I'm limited for options. I have identified this area on the billet where I can carry out a test cut. This area will be machined down later. Using a parting tool, I've successfully machined the base of the V, so I'll repeat that in the final location. After checking the groove with a depth micrometer, I can undertake machining the V with that form tool. By using a section of V-belt to check the groove, I think the test groove is a success. So now for the real one. With that done, it's time to attack the considerable quantity of metal to be removed before the product emerges from this billet. So sit back and enjoy, or not, how things were done before the days of automated lathes. An internal chamfer to finish it off and a quick look before it is removed from the chuck. The two internal diameters in the tooth pulley are accommodated in the new pulley. It is machined to be a shrink fit but will need to be anodized before it can be assembled. Unfortunately I can't show the final assembly because I won't be doing it. The last task for me is to clean up my ever trustworthy ward lathe. I reckon that aluminium swarf propagates because there always seems to be more than was machined away. Ah yes, that looks better. Now time for you know what.